Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. What's good, guys? Matt McCoy, Country Song Teacher. Hope you're doing well. I got a funny little story for this song, but I love this one. I was just messing around with this. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. <laughs> All right. So three chords, the whole song is going to go G to C, G to D. I'll go over the strumming pattern, a funny little story real fast. When I was in seventh grade, my family were all about athletics, football, basketball, track, baseball, that kind of thing. So it was, it was sports 24-7. I have an older brother, three years older. My father was an all-state football player. My brother was, and I was. So it's all sports all the time, right? And if you sang, you were a sissy. But I kind of like singing as I got a YouTube channel, right? So I thought, man, I like singing, so... I want to join the choir. Um, again, that was kind of a wimp in West Virginia, but now I don't want my boys to be this way. My dad kind of thought it was wimpy. Well, I had a, my first little singing recital, and we sang this song. Well, actually, I had a basketball game the same day as my first recital. So I was up there, wimble wait, a wimble wait, a wimble wait. I'm up there on stage, snapping, singing, feeling good. And I can see my dad back in the audience just kind of like, well, as soon as I finished that song, he walked up and told the choir director, Listen, Matt's got a ball game. We had to go. And he took me out of there, so that was my last day of choir. But, so I kind of regret that. I wish I'd have, I'd have kept going with the choir, because, again, I tried to tell my boys to sing it. You can, be a, you can be a man and still sing, right? So every time I hear this song, I think about me up there, wimble way, the wimble way, snapping, having a good time. So there's the story real fast. Now to the lesson. Guys, so the three chords, if you're new to my channel, lock in the two bottom strings in the third fret. So the pinky finger is the bottom string, the, your ring finger is the second string. The G... It's fifth and sixth, strum off six. When I say a C, it's a C at nine. You just slide down to the fourth and fifth and strum the bottom five. When I say a D, slide down to the third string. Now some of y'all will be like, that's not the way I learned those. If you want to do the, if you want to do your regular C chord, regular D, that, that's fine. But a little easy hack to do them is just move the top two fingers down. So the strumming pattern is going to, back, you do a pluck and down, up, down, up. So pluck, down, up, down, up, and go to C. And when I say pluck, you're plucking the top two or three strings. Pluck, down, up, down, up, pluck, down. Notice how I kind of like that lane. You kind of let it linger after that full strum. So, forth. so great little song. Like I said, if you're a beginner and you struggle, you're just learning guitar, you're like, Matt, I follow you for them easy, simple lessons, not just crazy stuff. When you're a beginner, you're going to struggle even on the up strum. Up strums will be a little difficult. So start out, just do kind of down strums to get your timing down. In the jungle, the In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion. So see how I did that? All I did is four down strums because you're listening for that timing of the chord. You say, what are the chords? What's the order of the chords? What's the timing? That's how you learn any song. What are the chords? What's the order of the chords? What's the timing that you stay on each chord for? So you can you can do palm mute, string stops, whatever, but you're listening for that timing. If you're a beginner, you just start with down strums. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. The lion sleeps tonight In the jungle, the quiet jungle The lion sleeps tonight And 
after you get more and more advanced, you can do the, the up strum. And by the way, on the up strum, remember, you strum all the strings on the down strum. On the up strum, just come up. I'm not even using a pick, but on the bottom two or three. You don't come up. Somebody didn't teach me that first. You don't come up on every single string. Just kind of pick the bottom two. So, quick little lesson on this Monday or whatever day you're watching this. A little three chord lesson. Um, I probably should work on a three chord songbook. As you know, I've got a lot. My, I'm known for my four chords, G, C minor, and D. And I've got <coughs> excuse me, uh, four, uh, four four chord songbooks, two worship, two country. But I might need to do a three chord songbook for beginners. So, hmm, might need to work on that. All right, guys, check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. All one word, countrysongteacher.com. By the way, you might have noticed I'm trying to do more shorts, little vertical one minute videos. I, I just did it last night. I did. I know it's late. I'm on that lay, but you should probably leave. I recognize that look in your eyes, but you should probably leave. Cause I know you, you know me. We both know where this is going to be. You want me to say that I want you to stay, but you should probably did that little Chris Ableton. So I'll, I'll try to do some guitar tips. Um, the other one I did the other day is kind of. I did a little strumming tip. So be on the lookout for more and more shorts coming my way. Coming from me your uh, Yeah, coming from me your way. I think that's how it goes. All right, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I saw like 80% of people watching my videos haven't subscribed. Come on, people. Help a brother out. Let's go. I'll see you tomorrow.